Okay, so I had to take a break because my camera died and yeah, so the only thing I have left are these palettes, two things of lipsticks, some brushes, powders, um, and that's it. And then I'll show you an overview of the room. I've made a mess of it again, <laughs> of course. So we're gonna start with these palettes. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any of these, but I did want to just show them since this is a collection as well. This is uh, the Tarte palette from this holiday season. I actually really like this. I wish the packaging wasn't so bulky, but I do enjoy enjoy the palette. One that I think I might get rid of is the Carly Bible, um, the second edition of, of her palette, just because I really liked the first edition and I think the, the formula on this one is different. And really the only new row are like the very top and then some new highlighters, but honestly like that shade doesn't work for me and neither do those two or the, these two. So I think I'm actually going to get rid of this. So yeah. Um, I have the Tarte Clay Play Palette, which I actually love. I just wish they weren't so shady about it, and I wish they wouldn't have gotten rid of it and traded it in for the new one that they have. Um, I thought they said they were doing it to cater to more skin tones, but, like, this one's the dark darkest one in this one, and I think, like, something like this is the darkest one in the new one. So I'm really disappointed in it, but I am going to keep it because I do really like it. I also have my Morphe 350, right? Yeah, my Morphe 350, which I love and I'm not getting rid of because it's one of my faves. Another one of my favorites is the Morphe, Morphe um, Jaclyn Hill palette. And again, just one of my favorites. This was in my 2017 favorites and I love it still. I have my Natasha Denona palette, the Star palette, which was another one of my favorites and it still is. I have a look on my channel with this I think so I'll link that down below and lastly my last palette is the Morphe 25B bronzed mocha um, I actually like that they have these new little things but anyway um, this is just like a purpley like it's a little bit cooler so I really like this one so I'm obviously gonna keep that and the thing is like this one actually like when I was telling you guys that I didn't want to keep the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea because I can only create one look. With this, it's pretty similar. Like, I only have a certain amount of looks I can create despite the amount of shades. But I actually like the looks every single time that I, that I do them. So that's kind of the difference with me. Um, I don't mind keeping a palette that I only have a limited number of looks with if I actually really love the look. So I'm going to put this back. Alright, this is the part that's giving me anxiety, so I'm going to try to go as quick as I can because I have an idea of the things that I'm going to get rid of. Um, I have so many lip products that I'm using very little of them, so most of these are going to get tossed if I don't use them or given to like family and friends because I don't, like, I'm obviously not going to sell these. Um, I have the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach um, lip gloss, which I'm definitely keeping. I have this one from Ipsy. It's an ultra glossy, um, it's an ultra glossy one, and... It's a pretty color. I think I don't even know if I've ever worn it. Um, maybe, I don't know. I'll put this in the maybe. I have these three from Maybelline, and I don't think I need all of them. These two are so similar. And I, there's one I like better, and I don't remember which one it was. It was the uh, pinkier one. So I'm gonna get rid of the brownie one. I can't stand having swatches of uh, glosses on me. And then. This one's a pinkier too, but it's kind of like the same. But it's a little bit brighter. I'm going to keep both of these actually. I got this in an Ipsy. It's Bang Beauty. Um, it's the same color as the Ipsy one, and I just am not a fan of it. This one actually got all over my teeth, and I didn't like it. Um, I never use this, and it's really old. It's a Wet n Wild, so I'm going to get rid of that. Um, this is one of my favorites. It's the Milani Stellar Lights, and it's like a holographic lip topper, and I love this, so I'm definitely keeping it. This is a ColourPop Moonchild, keeping that one. This is a Flower Beauty Lip Lacquer in the shade Classic Nude. Again, one of my favorite glosses, so I'm definitely keeping that one. I've been trying to justify a reason to keep this one for so long, but I'm just coming to terms with the fact that I'm never going to use it, so I'm tossing this. It's old. This is the Wham Gloss from the Laura Lee collab that she did with ColourPop, and I'm not really a fan of glitter lips. I've actually never worn it, but I'm on the fence about this one, so I'm going to put it in my maybe. And then this is my pink champagne from Buxom, and I'm not getting rid of that. I have
have this Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in Bury Me, and I've never ever used this, but I want to, so I'm going to put it, you know, put it over here to use. I have three of the NYX Butter Glosses, and all of them are really different, except this one is kind of similar to this one from Maybelline. So I think I'm going to get rid of the Maybelline one and keep the NYX one. And so I'm going to keep all those. Um, I have a lot of these, like the mini NYX uh, soft matte lip creams. My sister got me the whole set they had for the holidays, and I think I'm going to keep all of them because... They're small, so I'll go through them pretty quickly. This is a L'Oreal Infallible Paint. Um, I actually like the color of this a lot, and I like the formula, so I'm going to keep that. I have some chopsticks in here. Um, I have a root beer flavored one and like a normal one. And this one stinks, so I'm getting rid of that. And then I'll just keep this one, the root beer one. Um, I have the Essence, uh, it, they call it a liquid lipstick, it's a gloss. I don't know what shade it's in, but I do really like this one. And then I have the Tardiest Lip Paint in the shade Grand. Um, I'm still unsure about this formula, so I'm going to keep it to try it out some more. Now for the liquid lipsticks. I have uh, Kat Von D in Lovesick, keeping that for sure, one of my favorites. Um, I've been trying to find a reason to keep this for so long. Is this the one I don't like? I always, I feel like I always get this color in subscription boxes and I don't wear it ever. I'm going to put this one to the side and see if I have any similar ones. This is uh, Anastasia Liquid Lip, Sh Lip Stick in Milkshake and I love that one so I'm definitely keeping it. This is the uh, ColourPop Times Hello Kitty. I'm keeping this. It doesn't even matter what it swatches like because I love Hello Kitty. Um, this one is Catnip by Anastasia. I'm keeping this one even though it's really dry and I like the color a lot. And it's kind of similar to the Dose of Colors one. I'm going to keep both. Um, I have this Amore Matte Lip Paint from Milani. And it's a glitter. It's not glitter. It's like a sheen. Ooh, I like that. It's pretty unique. Um, I have this one. This is really unique. It's Ofra in Napa Valley. And I'm definitely keeping that. It's a good way to do a black if you don't want to do a black because it's a dark purple. Um, I have ColourPop Ultra Satin in Strip. Definitely keeping that. I love that formula. It's really similar to Bow and Arrow, except it's lighter, and I'm definitely keeping Bow and Arrow as well. This is Glam from the Laura Lee uh, collab, and I actually have a color similar to this, unless I got rid of it last time. I must have gotten rid of it. Oh, I have this. Let me see how similar this is, the Infallible Lip Paint. Hmm. They're kind of similar, and actually, I like the Laura Lee one better, so I'm going to get rid of the L'Oreal one and keep the Laura Lee one. Okay, well, I have swatches all over me. That's great. Okay. This Galactic Beauty one was so drying, like, unbelievably drying, so I'm going to get rid of this one. And I have the Melted Matte in Child Star. This is one of my favorites, so I'm definitely keeping that. I have the e.l.f. Liquid Lipstick in T-Rose, and I love this formula, so I'm keeping that. Um, I have Band by Laura Lee, and honestly, I'm not a big fan of this color. Um, it just smears everywhere, so I'm going to put this in the maybe. I have the NYX Liquid Suede, and I've had it for way too long. Um, I've just had this for way too long, and I keep trying to justify it like I'm going to use it, but I'm not, so I'm getting rid of that. I have this Bella Pierre Lip Cream, and I hate that applicator, so I'm going to get rid of that. I have the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ashton, keeping that. Um, this is uh, from the Kathleen Collection, I'm definitely keeping that. This is the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Honeymoon. I get compliments every time I wear it, but it's like super, super drying. But part of me just wants to keep it because I get compliments on it. I have the Victoria's Secret Velvet Matte, and I'm trying to remember, oh yeah, I like this formula because it's really... Um, it's really moussey, so I'm keeping that. I also have the Physician's Formula Healthy Lip in the shade on All Natural Nude, which I'm definitely keeping. I hated this. This is the shade Salty from Tardius Lip Paint um, whole thing, so I'm getting rid of this one. Um, I have the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Pure Hollywood. I'm going to keep that. I have the Kat Von D in Exorcism, which reminds me a lot of Bam, but this one stays longer. So I'm definitely keeping the Kat Von D one. And again, I have more of these liquid 
um, the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, so I'm definitely going to keep. And the last one is a C one from Ciate, and I think now that I've gotten rid of the other ones that are similar in color to this, that I'll actually use this one and try it. So I'm going to keep this for now. It's small, so I'm not worried about it. Okay, so I have a whole bunch of pinks right here, and they're all mini, and they're all pretty much the same color. So... I need to decide. I've, I wanted to use this and I haven't, so I'm going to keep this just for now. I'm going to get rid of the LA Colors one. And then I have these two from Bare Minerals. There was one that I liked, but I can't remember what it was. And these get actually get oily and they separate too, so... Ooh, that one's pretty. That one's really nude and I'm not really into that anymore, so I'm going to get rid of this one. But I'm going to keep uh, Juju. That, I, that was the one I liked. I remembered the name. Um, I'm definitely keeping the, this. This is one of my favorite um, formulas from Tarte. It's their double-sided where it's a lipstick on one side and a gloss on the other. There's also something similar from Flower. Um, I got the red one. I saw Casey Holmes wearing this and it's just beautiful. So I kept that. I'm keeping that. I have a bunch of these chubby sticks, and they're all pretty similar, so I want to see which ones... Okay. Um, <laughs> well, that solved that. I'm getting rid of that one. Um, then I have these two, but actually these two remind me a lot of the Bite Beauty one, and I love the Bite Beauty one, so I'm going to keep that and get rid of these two. I have this one from, from... Oh my god, I have liquid lipstick all over me. Can you please, like... Um, I have this one from Pure, and I liked the formula of this, so I'm going to keep it, because maybe now that I've gotten rid of some, I'll actually use this. This is another one of the Bare Minerals. It's in the shade Infamous. I don't remember if I like this. I know it's somewhere between the light one and the dark one. So, I do like this, but it's streaky, so I think it's kind of gone bad, so I'm going to get rid of that. I have this one from... Cloud Lips, and I liked the color, but I don't know. There was something about it that I didn't like, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. I, why not? Um, lip liners, I can definitely get rid of some. I haven't used this Lord & Berry one in forever, so I'm getting rid of that one. Um, this has something gross on it, so I'm getting rid of that one. This IBY Beauty, I don't wear colors like that, so I'm going to get rid of that. It doesn't come off that way on your lips. I love this one from Gwen Stefani. It's Urban Decay Gwen Stefani. I'm keeping that. And I love this Jordana one, and I also love this Milani one. So I'm definitely keeping those. I also love this one from Wet n Wild. And I love this one from NYX because it's the only purple one like this I have. Um, I don't think I've ever used this. But maybe now that I've gotten rid of some stuff I can use it. I've also never used this Tristique lip crayon and it's really sheer so I'm gonna get rid of that. Last three things I have this bite lipstick it's like a double-sided lipstick and I love this side of it and it's the Amouche Bouche formula which is my favorite so I'm gonna keep that. Um, I think I've kept enough colors similar to this it's the NYX Simply Red in Knockout so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. And lastly, it's a soft matte lip cream in Austin. Let me see. I bought like a set and they all dried out. Oh, I like this, but I have so many other colors like this. Let me see what the Victoria's Secret one looks like. Mm, that's different enough. All right, I'm going to keep the soft matte one too. So I have every single one of the Wet n Wild ones, except for a couple of their limited edition collections. So, oh, I missed one of the next ones. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put these in. So now I have space in there, so that makes me feel good. I do have some ones in my purse and stuff, but they're in my purse, so I'm obviously not going to get rid of them. So now the only thing we have left is lipsticks and powders. 
Okay, so I get emotionally attached to lipsticks pretty easily. I have lipstick on my pants. So this one will be hard for me. This is my lipstick holder here. I'm going to put it in front of me so that I'm not dropping it. The first one is Bite. Um, it's Thistle. It's the Amouche Bouche formula. And I don't even know why I swatched it because I knew I was keeping it from the beginning. And I'm just going to put them back in their little holders. So I love this one, but it's really similar. Actually, no, it's not. Okay, so that's not similar to Kathleen's at all, so I feel justified in keeping that. I have a bunch of Clinique ones that I'm not getting rid of because they were my mother's, so I'm not getting rid of those. Um, this is in the shade Midnight Merlot, which I might end up getting rid of because... Oh, well, there's more on my pants. Great. So I have this one. It's the Urban Decay uh, Comfort Matte in the shade Troublemaker, and it's super similar to this, and Urban Decay is cruelty-free. So I think I'm going to keep that instead and get rid of Midnight Merlot. I'm getting rid of all of my um, L'Oreal lipsticks because I don't like the way they smell. I have this Lancome Juicy Shaker, which I am keeping because I love. I have um, this lipstick in the shade Psycho. I got it just for the name, but it is a really pretty like pinky red, but it has flecks of blue, so it makes your teeth look white. So I have this one. This is in Beige Babe and everyone talked about this for a long time and I just, it's just a lipstick. It's not, not that big a deal. So I'm not, I'm actually going to get rid of this. The same with Blushing Beige. I feel the same way about that one. I actually wore this one all the time but I'm over it. And also my last, uh, I actually like this one, so this one is from Maybelline as well, but I like it. It's called Mauve It, and I'm going to keep this one because I do like it, so I'll just use it up and then get rid of it. I have a bunch of the NYX matte list lipsticks. I have a bunch of red ones. This is in the shade Alabama, and I love this one. I love that. So I am keeping this one. Um, I have this Revlon one in black cherry that I'm actually going to get rid of because it is similar to the two dark purples that I already have. Um, this is the shade, what shade is this? Oh, this is dark ear. I don't think I've ever used this one. It's really similar to those. Actually, it looks a little browner, so I'm just fine in keeping it. Okay, so um, the last one that I have from NYX. It's in the shade Mason and I looked everywhere for this color for a really long time and I finally found it so I'm not giving it up. It's like a really grungy brown color so definitely not getting rid of that one. Oh wait, that's not my last one. This is NYX the red in Perfect Red. Oh and it is. It's like a really pretty cool tone red but it is really similar to Psycho. Let me see how similar. Psycho is a little bit pinkier, so I'm keeping both. I have Unicorn Tears, and that's one of my most unique um, shades in my collection. So I'm definitely keeping it. It's a really cool lip topper. I have this one from LA Girl, and I don't know if I like this formula. It's just, it's really hard pressed. Yeah, I'm gonna, how much do I have left? That would be an easy pan, so I might keep it. And I also have this LA Girl one that is black, and even though it's not the most pigmented black, it is the only... Mm, it's like not even black. I'm getting rid of this one. Not worth keeping. Um, I got rid of the other Essence one, so I will probably end up getting rid of this one because I'm just not a fan of this formula. It's the Essence... Um, actually, I do like that. That's like a wash of mauve. I'm going to keep this one. It's the Essence. It's just called Cool Nude. I have this MAC lipstick in the shade Russian Red. And I, oh my gosh, I love this color. I wish MAC was cruelty free. I have the Kat Von D uh, lipstick in the shade Coven. And I love this color so much. So I'm keeping that. I have nothing like it in my collection. And I'm keeping these two. They're the Becca Lush Lip. Uh, they are called Lush Lip Color Bombs. Um, I can show you a swatch of them. They're like literally just like washes of color. 
and it's super similar to that one above it but it's just it's literally just a wash so I really 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 like these so I'm definitely keeping these my hands are a mess okay now time for powder I think this one will be pretty easy there's some powders that aren't even in here um, I have the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I like this to lighten up my foundation, so I'm definitely keeping this. I'm conflicted between this. I was going to try this for under my eyes because it's I don't like it as a uh, powder foundation or a powder, so I'm keeping this just to try it one more time. This is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless, uh, which I love, so I'm definitely keeping. This is the Maybelline Better Skin, which I actually used to love, but I don't really love it as much anymore. It's not expired or anything, but I just don't love it as much as I used to. So I think I'm going to get rid of it. I have the Wet n Wild Powder Compact, and I can only use this if I have a foundation that's like basically already set, because there's just nothing... Like, that's if I press really hard, but if you have a brush in it... Okay, ugh, maybe I'm wrong. Do I not know how to use powder? I don't know. I have issues with this when I first get it, and then it turns out fine. Um, I have this NYC Smooth Skin Loose Setting Powder. I'm going to get rid of it because I had it forever and just, I know you can keep it for 30 months, but I don't really like it anyway. I have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. It's like a sample size and I really like it, so I'm keeping it. I have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. It's like their fine setting powder and I do like this, but I don't like the way that this is contained. It's hard to get the product out, so in my opinion, it's not worth keeping for that reason. I have this Mana Kadar Beauty Powder, and I actually really like this, and it's like a perfect dupe for that Makeup Forever one, so I'm going to keep this. And last but not least, I have the uh, Bare Minerals, it's like a duo, the Invisible Light Duo, and I'm definitely keeping this because I love it. Okay, so I want to go through the things that I'm thinking about decluttering, um, because I feel like, let's see, um, I want to talk through some of them. The first one is the Kat Von D Metal Matte, and I think ultimately I've been thinking about selling this for a while, and since the first time I thought about selling it, I haven't used it, which tells me that I need to just get rid of it. So as hard as it is, I'm getting rid of this. Uh, the same with the Nikki Tutorials Power of Makeup. Um, the only reason I was keeping it was because my husband got it for me, but he doesn't even remember getting it for me first of all, and then second of all, if I thought about getting rid of it, I need to get rid of it. The Shane XO palette is still rough for me because I do like these colors, but it's just the lipsticks I don't like, but since I do like the palette itself, I am going to keep it. This Real Her Be Fearless Be Limitless. Every time, so, you know, I like this shade. There's like pure glitter in here. I'm getting rid of this. This LA Girl Strobe Light uh, highlighter. I actually get a lot of compliments when I wear it, which makes me just want to keep it, so I'm going to keep it. This MAC Melba blush, I'm just going to get rid of it. I just don't need it in my life anymore, so I'm getting rid of it. This is the one that's really hard for me, and it makes me feel like if it's this hard, I just need to keep it. Um, there's just something about this palette that makes me not reach for it, and when I do reach for it, I like my eye look, but it's actually getting me to reach for it. I don't know if it's because Tarte's put such a bad taste in my mouth that now this palette just doesn't appeal to me as much. I don't have that problem with the Clay Play. I don't have that problem with the limited edition palettes, but it's this specific palette that just puts... I don't know. I don't know if I just have such a bad taste in my mouth or what. But since I'm struggling so much, I am going to keep that one. And I have these four lipsticks. I feel bad getting rid of the Laura Lee ones because I paid for them and... I bought the whole set and I'm only keeping one, but the reality is I just, I'm not a fan of it. So there's not really a point in me keeping it just to keep it. Um, I'm definitely not keeping this. I'm definitely not keeping this, so I'm getting rid of this. 